Hello, it's Bill Bilkey. It's May 29th, 2020, just starting week nine of the COVID-19 quarantine from the pandemic. Um, I'm, I had to reshoot this one due to some technical difficulties, uh, but what we're gonna talk about now is, uh, now that you've set up the panel, connected via IAMS or Active Directory, you've set up your accounts. Now we're gonna bind the, and then you've bound the panel to the, to the admin. Now we're going to talk about uh, DMS, how to bind, or bind the panel using DMS, bind to XSign, um, tag it, do some of that, and do XSign signage, which we'll talk about. So that's, that's the topic of this one. Uh, so I've got an interesting setup here so I can talk about several products at once. Again, you've seen how you can log in with this NFC card reader. Uh, so this is the uh, BenQ InstaShow WDC20S. It's a wireless presentation system. It does 4K and split screen, but I'll have a whole separate video on that that I've already done. Uh, but I'm going to use that. So I've got HDMI, HDMI out of this panel, and I've clicked the InstaShare button. So I'm actually wirelessly projecting the content from here to this and you know this could be way across the room in a big lecture hall and I can send this content 45 to maybe 60 feet. Uh, I have a second insta show button here which is for my laptop and that's how I'll show the software. Um, I, I bought a monoprice.com adapter for USB-C to HDMI the other one's just using HDMI. And I'm also showing off the BenQ EW800ST smart projector. It's the first smart projector on the market, and I'll be making a video on that following this one, or following this series of panel demos. So let's go ahead and get started now. Uh, so I won't be able to do it exactly how I did it the first time, but I can talk you through it. So now that the panel's set up and your administrator's set up, the first thing that you're going to want to do is bind to the DMS. So what, what you do here is you can load an app onto your phone called BenQ DMS. So I loaded this. It sees the panel already, probably because I had logged it in. But here you can you can group it, you can name it, it'll have an IP address. You can see that the Mac address, the software version. I'd like to see the serial number show up on it shows whether it's on or off, sources, things like that. Um, and you can change the name, add a unique ID. So what I did the first time is I went to here and there's a DMS client. So we open up the DMS client the first time. When I did it the first time that showed offline and then actually all I had to do was Using this DMS app, I just scan this QR code reader. And I think since I've already done it, I can't do it again, uh, but it'll take me there. And, that, and then that automatically bound it to the network. And then that turned from offline, which was red, into online. So if you do that, that'll happen. That's the best way to do it. And, and then it's already on there, so it's connected. And that's gonna let us do some things that I'll talk about here in a second. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, bind the X sign. Okay, so for that, you go to this X sign broadcasting app, which is here. And you can also, you can, you can get both in the picture if you want, or just one. So you see this display ID here. Um, oh, I forgot about this one screen. Uh, now you can see both picture and picture over there as well. Uh, so let me first talk about the cloud here. Uh, but all, all I had to do here was you go into X sign. Uh, you can see it on that as well. But if I go X sign, this is the X sign software here. And what I might do is just go ahead and skip ahead and do X sign first. So then you just click add device and then you put in, in the device ID, which is right here. 
the 6QT XSL EL3, which I did that already. Um, so unfortunately I can't show it to you again. Our, right now our software is free for life, the basic software. Um, and then you can categorize it and, and put in a location and a description, things like that. So we did that already, uh, but that data got lost. And then with that, what we can do is we can go over here to broadcast. Get that close so you can see this going on simultaneously on that screen here. So broadcast, so now you see, you can see this RP6501K and you can see the BenQ 800 WST. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna send uh, a message to them both. So this could be a scrolling text message, for example. Can, I can, depending on how you set it up, you can send it to every classroom or just certain classrooms. So right now, uh, it says no school, snow day, it's supposed to say. <laughs> yeah, my, well, I forgot to shout out to my camera person, Claudia, my daughter, who's laughing at me. All right, so on the panels, all you have to do is hit right here and confirm that you'd seen the message, and then it's documented back there that you'd seen it. Um, for the projector, when I do the InstaShow, uh, when I do that demo, I'll be able to show it, but right now I'm in, I'm in a different source. Uh, so now, let, let me also show you that you can do YouTube video as well. So we could do a live YouTube video. video. Okay, so what, so what you do again is at X sign, you click this create interrupt. And I can actually do a video, so I'm going to click video, enter a YouTube video. So this could be, you can actually go to a static IP address and do your daily principal's announcements, or if the schools do the announcements, you can do it that way as well. Um, and I can make it play a certain amount of time, etc. So I'm going to send that, which I just did. And now you see it's going on both of them. So I'm going to stop it here by hitting it, hitting it again, which is intuitive, and hit confirm. I have to take it off HDMI out, so I'll show that at the end. Okay, let's talk about the DMS software now. Um, so over at DMS, what you do is you go, uh, I can either from here I can switch, or I can just go here at DMS Cloud. So, so you see that now. But you'll see I can group the panels by uh, school level, by grade level, all of them. So I can send those messages to just certain groups like, you know, eighth graders go to the gym for the SAT, PSAT test or something. Um, or, you know, kindergartners are out today, half day, or tomorrow. Uh, so now you can follow me on this screen here, actually. Let me take this off a split screen. So you can see a little bit better. And I'm not too worried about the setup here. This is like a 15 year old screen that Daylight gave me. So if anybody's here from Daylight, Draper, Stewart, any screen companies, I can use a free screen for my demos and I'll give you shout outs. Um, but I'm gonna pick the, you can see this one's on. So that's the active one here that we're gonna work with. Uh, so within this, you can see the source is Android. Um, status is normal brightness. You've got the IP address there, white hours used. Uh, so what I can do as well is if I click on these controls over here on the right, that'll show me everything. So now, Claudia, you get to show the panel too. You can kind of back up and show the panel on the screen. So now you see right now we're in on, but I'm going to go to standby mode. And so remotely over the cloud, I can turn every panel off, individual panels or just group panels. So that went down. Um, so it just went to standby, I didn't shut it off, but now I'm going to put it back on. Okay, now it's back on. Uh, I can change sources here. 
Uh, I could go to the OPS source, DisplayPort, HDMI 1, 2, or 3, or VGA source remotely. So if maybe somebody was having issues with their document camera, you can go and make sure that it's on the right source. I can change the volume here. Um, so I was on 19, now it's at 70. And on the panel at the same time, it went up to 70. Live. I can mute it. If you look at the panel, you'll see that it was muted. Once I click OK. So I can mute all the panels, and now you see it's muted. And I can unmute it. I can change the brightness of every panel or certain panels. The volume again, aspect ratio, that type of thing. If I click here, I can also get the information on the individual panel, how many hours it's used. I can change the name. I could say Mrs. Smith's class in you know, Roosevelt Elementary School or something like that to make it easy to find. If I click here, you know, again, that was all the controls. There's some functions down here too, so if you have set functions for all of them, you can save that and send it to them all. Uh, from this arrow here, I can see all my apps. So I can remove an app or I can add an app. Some of the competitors can send out an app to all the panels, but you still have to go to each individual panel and touch them. Whereas I can uh, actually load them up live. So let me go Oops, and see, I can, I can add it to the whole group or device. Okay, so, so actually, I go here to do that, sorry. Um, so now I can click on an app, like Khan Academy, let's do that. So here I can uh, install it, edit it, or delete it. I'm going to install Khan Academy to all my panels. So I only have three. Uh, so now it's loading Khan Academy. You can see that happening. And here's all my lists. So once they're in my, de they're my, in my depository, I can add them. Um, here you can see my name is the administrator, the district name, and just name it school district. It gives me the time zone or the password. Okay. So that's that piece. So here's where you can see the log too of what I've done recently. The panel. What's happened to the panel? If I have any questions on that. Close out the DMS now. Let's just see if I missed anything real quick. Uh, so I can go to the about and I can see the version. DMS. If I click on all these dots over here on the right, I can then switch over to my Xsign app or AMS or broadcast app. So we've already done a broadcast. Let me, let me do another one here. Um, what I'm going to do is unplug the Insta Show. It's going to go to the main watch screen. It does make okay. a nice little So that, that was that uh, app that I had, or that was the uh, snow date that I had installed wrong. That was shows that it can also go to our interactive smart projector. Um, so what I would do here is I just need to, use, I can just go right here and this with the mouse the, click on it. You might use a wireless keyboard or you can just use the remote. Like or actually there's apps for your phone where you can use your phone as a keyboard. Is to select a random number of students. Okay, I'm going to select five, four students today. And it's going to give me their number. Okay, so I just confirm that I do want to close out and then I closed out. So that's DMS, X sign. We've already done AMS setup before, I believe. I think I showed on a tag, right? We can tag over here into various categories. So I can make groups, I can add a device, that type of thing. Um, also over here, you can see the scheduling software, so we can actually schedule the devices to go on and go to a certain source at a certain time. Go to the video source or something for the daily principles announcements. So 
So that's uh, Exxon and DMS. Okay, let's try this again. So we've got the BenQ EW800ST short throw lamp projector. It's under a thousand dollar map. It has, it's a built in, it's a smart projector, the first one on the market. It has a built in Android operating system. It can connect to our AMS just like our panels. It can connect to Exxon just like our panels. Uh, so let's go to the computer real quick. What you do is you just click on the home button on the remote. Hit the home and confirm that you do want to exit it and you're out, and you're out of that. So that's how Exxon works between on both the panel and our smart projector. Um, so hopefully that helps setting up Exxon, setting up DMS.